Hello and very welcome to another tutorial here on Bitwigging.com. Today I'm going to show you how to control the drum module in Bitwig with an iPhone by using the TouchUSC app. This could be useful in a live performance scenario for triggering samples, but with having the freedom at the same time not being dependent on a special hardware design with buttons and knobs of a hardware controller. So let's jump in. All right, here you can see if I trigger the button on my touch OC layout, Bitwig is playing the accordion pad of the drum module. As you can see here, it's also working for pan and volume. I'll now explain in depth what need to be done for setting up and I'll guide you to all installation processes. So first of all, you'll need to download the TouchOSC app from the App Store. TouchOSC will be your virtual controller by providing many pre-configured presets and as far as I know, uh, you can also customize by yourself in the Pro version. Secondly, you need to download the Oscillator app from Mac. Oscillator is basically responsible for translating the incoming OC data from TouchOSC to MIDI data to make it understandable for Bitwig. When you open up Oscillator, you need to set up the MIDI in and out port under devices like so. Under MIDI templates here, you can start a new collection. Under the OSC routes panel, you can assign the device by clicking on the setup symbol here. In Touch OSC, you need to define the network connection depending on your configuration. It's of course mandatory that the phone and the computer have to be in the same network. As a layout, I choose the Beat Machine layout here. In this panel, you need to configure your mapping by selecting the message and assign the event type and value. In case of MIDI nodes, of course it's a node. So let me now switch to Bitwig at that point. So to receive MIDI data from Oscillator, now you need to add under settings, controllers, a new controller and choose Oscillator out. And here in my session, I'm using the factory drum module of Bitwig, where I just put some factory samples. As I already inserted some samples, let me open another drum module to show you what MIDI nodes are necessary to map. So going back to Oscillator, you now have to map each and every event. If you want to make buttons or faders working, you need to choose a MIDI CC instead of nodes. And as you can see here, whenever you hit a new controller on TouchUSC, Oscillator will realize and add automatically. So let me try with something I haven't hit before. Let's use this. So as you can see, Oscillator just added XY. And now I'm gonna switch to Bitwig again and add a filter into the effect chain in order to control cutoff with this. In Oscillator, you need to set a value that will be sent to Bitwig. And in Bitwig, you have to map this value uh, for what we wanna use. In this case, it's cutoff. So right click on the button, map controller. And now, as you can see, as soon as I hit the X axis, it's mapped correctly to cut off in Bitwig. That's basically the whole process. And of course you can map whatever you like. And as you can see, it's a very flexible way to control Bitwig without being dependent on a certain hardware design. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.